All right, so I was gonna update y'all or tell y'all a little story that's kind of going on behind the scenes at Ford. To bring you all up to speed, back in like mid-September, Ford CEO, his name is Jim Farley, remember that name because he's kind of a character. He said to the Ford dealers, listen, the way we're gonna do our Ford EV sales is gonna be like a tier one, tier two, or not involved thing. So if you wanna sell EVs and you wanna get like the biggest allotment of EVs to sell, you need to make approximately a $1.2 million investment into your dealership. Some of that is for training and equipment to get into the EV world. Most of it is to install a very complex charging system for, for public use. Um, tier two, same deal, charging system, but more at like a $500,000 level and you get less EVs to sell. Stage three, you say you don't want to be involved with EVs. You don't pay anything. You don't get any EVs to sell. Seems a little weird for Ford to do that to their Ford dealerships considering they're saying that Ford is the future or that EVs are the future of Ford in their direction. Um, needless to say, or wait here to back it up, like essentially what they're doing, read between the lines, there's pretty much a Ford dealer in every small town in America, right? So Ford's little scheme here is to get their dealers to pay for their Ford nationwide charging infrastructure. That's their plan. And it's smart, but it's dick. Uh, and as you can imagine, that went over with the dealers like a fart in an elevator, right? Like, Oh, and here's the other thing. They said, this was mid-September. They said, you've got six weeks to make your choice. Halloween is your deadline. Well, obviously, it caused a shitstorm. And, and Ford quickly pushed back the deadline to early December, which is why I'm mentioning it again here, because it's early December now. So now we're at ahead with this. Uh, I don't know officially what's going on uh, other than just friends and whatnot, but this is not going over well. I know that state officials have gotten involved in at least three states. I think Connecticut is being the most reactive. I think one of their senators um, is actually taking this to the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, for like ethics and legal uh, infringements because there are like franchise laws and stuff that you just cannot do that Ford thinks that they can do. Um, so this is going to be really interesting here because like, uh, where does it go? Ford thinks, thought that they could hardball and kind of give their dealers an ultimatum. Uh, and I don't think it's going the way that Ford CEO Jim Farley thought that it would go. Uh, this guy sends, tends to just say stuff. Earlier this summer, he said that they wanted to sell EVs direct to consumers and not even use dealers. And then he said, and this is a quote that Dealers could be involved, and the quote is that, but it's going to be brutal on the dealers. Like, he says this straight to the dealers, and then he wonders why they're getting fed up with his shit. Um, so what happens here? What happens if the dealers don't play ball? How does Ford sell their EVs? Do they try and sell online? Like, they kind of all arrows point to that's what they want to do anyway, because they want to be Tesla. They want so badly to be Tesla. Um... The thing is, what happens when somebody buys a Ford EV and then problems arise, which are happening pretty frequently with Ford EVs, and they take it to a Ford dealer, and the Ford dealer goes, mm -mm, no, we didn't sell this, we can't sell this, we want nothing to do with this. Like, as a consumer, you don't want to be caught anywhere in that mess of finger pointing. There's a lot going on here, like... You gotta think, I know dealers aren't popular right now, and I get that, and like everybody's to blame is the thing, like Ford's to blame because, you know, they're pulling dick moves, they're thinking like big tech, they're not, they're, they're, they're making cold, impersonal ultimatums, and that's not cool. Dealers, obviously, not popular these days. I get it, they don't have inventory, so they have to try and make inventory on what they sell, but it still made them very not popular with all these markups and stuff like that. The government, not popular, because essentially all this is coming from top levels of the government, squeezing Ford, making Ford act, Ford's getting sloppy, you know what I mean? And these decisions are being made because they're being pressed to do something that is not achievable, because the infrastructure is not there. Um, 
So where does this go? One thing to keep in mind, I was saying you might hate dealers, but like dealerships build a local community. You know what I mean? Like I wrote an article and I was saying like, there's there's a good chance that like a local Ford dealer sponsors your kid's t-ball or your daughter's dance or the local holiday toy drive or stuff like that. You don't see Tesla doing that. Tesla's not sponsoring your kid's t-ball. Like it's a different mindset, right? And it's ultimately up to the voters. I mean, not the voters, the, the buyers. The buyers do vote on how they want the world to be. Do you want the local community? Do you want to sit at work or in class with a parent or a grandparent or a kid or a spouse, you know, all these people have have family that works at these local dealerships and, and makes living off of that. You're gonna take that away. Um, if Ford, you know, kind of starts to eliminate the dealership model, is it is, is that worth it? Is that the direction that we wanna go here? It's gonna be very interesting. We're at the deadline. And Ford's not really saying anything, which kind of tells you everything you need to know about how that deadline went, right? And so, like, what's the next step here? What's going on? Well, I, it's kind of like a soap opera, man, so we'll keep you updated. All right, thank you.